The basic tools that we use are pencil and paper. Pencil and paper will never be replaced, in my lifetime at least. I was always good at art and music at school, but my parents said, if you want to get anywhere, you've got to learn maths, physics and chemistry, and forget that. So that's the route I took, and it took a long time before I realized people drew cars for a living. Can you imagine getting paid for drawing cars? I'm very proud of the fact that we managed to seriously alter the proportions of the Cayman, but keeping it looking like a Cayman. It has a predecessor, it's still a young car in our model lineup, but it has a predecessor, and we've drawn on that, but we also radically changed the proportions. Going back to the 904, it's a very similar, the way the roof tails down into uh, a leading edge, the fenders that run into the doors, the element of the air opening on the side. These things, you can just a couple of centimeters up and down, backwards or forwards, a stretch, but you can project that onto the side of a camera and you can see where, where we're coming from. When we haven't invented anything new. The biggest challenge to overcome was definitely the aerodynamic side of the car. The aerodynamics, thermodynamics, keeping the engine cool, keeping the car as slippery as possible. The goal was to make it a very efficient car, both in terms of performance but also fuel economy. We lowered it, made the wheelbase longer, bigger wheels, moved the cow point forward so it's a much more dynamic kind of vehicle. I just love coupes and this thing is just a two-seater coupe. It's for nothing else but getting in it, perhaps with passion without that passion, and having a ball. And using it every day, you can use the thing every day, it's just great. The, the Cayman is just a driver's car.